Hi, welcome back to Miss Annette's Little Farm in the Big City. Today I have Emily with me, and we're going to make pan de muerto. And that is bread of the dead. Some of the ingredients that you're going to need for pan de muerto, you're going to need some dough, you're going to need some orange, zest, you're going to need some anise seeds, and we have some melted butter and some flour. We used already made roll dough, and we had eight pieces, and we put two together because we're going to use two of the pieces. We're going to reshape them to make our bones and our skull for our bread. So Emily's going to help us, aren't you, Emily? Yeah? We're going to put some, pow some flour, and we're going to reshape this dough. All right? Can you reshape it? You reshape it. And I'll get these ready. I'll set them on our... We're going to use orange to zest, which honors the dead. Uh-huh. Oh, good job, Emily. You're really doing a great job. And I'm zesting this little zester and, and the zest is just the peel of the orange it's very fragrant and tastes really good I know it doesn't always taste good when you try to eat it but it is pretty tasty in small amounts hey Emily come on I need your help so we have the orange Zest and we have the anise seeds. Okay. Yes. I have a pan ready to put our rolls on. She goes there. Yeah. You're really working hard there, aren't you? Huh? <laughs> Hi. These were frozen Hi. and I thawed them out. So now they're nice and doughy. Yes. Oh, Emily thawed them out. Sorry. <laughs> oh, okay. Alright. So what we're going to do? What we're going to do? Yeah. We're going to roll this dough out. Dough. Ah. Yeah, we're going to roll it out. We're going to make vessels or bones. Uh-huh. Now the yeah. skull that yeah. would be the dollop on the top yeah. of the bread. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, so we have to make six heads. Okay? You have one there? Mm -hmm. Yeah? Okay. So one, two, three. Yeah. Five. Four. Eight. Five. I need pay. <laughs> oh no, what'd you do? <laughs> what did you do? Okay, so we have the little skulls right here. One, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, you got that one ready? Oh, that one's a big one. Let's make that one a little bit smaller. All right, and then I'm going to put some melted butter on the top so everything sticks when we put it on there. <laughs> So when it when I put the rest of the dough on top of the roll, it will stick. So that's why I'm using the melted butter. Kind of like a little bit of a glue. So I have I the skulls have. ready. Now I'm going to make the bones. <laughs> okay, come sit down, Emily. Emily, come sit down so you can help me. I'm going to need your help. Okay? Yeah. We need to bake the bones, okay? So we're going to stretch this out. Whoops. Roll it out. Make it kind of like a long worm. Yeah, well. Uh huh. And the bones are going to go across the top of the roll. Okay, you can. Yeah. And it represents the uh, tears. Good job. I know. Yeah. All right. 
now we got to put this head on there. We got to put the skull. Put the skull. So get one of these and put that in the top. Put here. Put this on the top here. And the top right here. Put it right here. There you go. Good job, Em. All right. And then we're gonna sprinkle some beneath seeds on there because those are traditional. So here, you want something to put on there? Here. Put them right there. Good job. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we have a couple more to make. Well, we've got, we've got the orange just is getting in there, isn't it, Emmy? Good job. Yeah. All right. Hey. Yeah. You did a nice job. Uh-oh. We can't use that. We're going to have to throw that away, okay? Can you throw that away? Good job. Yeah. Okay. Um, here. <laughs> Hi. Hi, Emmy. <laughs> Hi. Okay. All right. Here, yeah, we do need to put a little bit of that right here, okay? Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Now we'll put the heads on there. I'm going to need some more of this. Yeah, let's put some more of that over there. Thanks, Em. <laughs> Emily's in the background here. She's helping out. <laughs> yeah. She's a good helper, aren't you, Emmy? Oh, no, don't dump that out. I don't think that's a good choice. We're almost finished here, Emily. I need you to start putting the skulls on there, okay? Hi. closer here so you can see what we've been doing. Um, I know my camera skills aren't the best, but I'm getting there, okay? Yeah. So you can see that oh, we're missing a head. I might have to take part of somebody else's head. And so the skulls are the top. Okay. These are the bones of the skeleton, which also represents the tears that you cried for the person that had passed. And then the Maybe bottom represents the circle of life. How about that? So it's all very meaningful. And we're gonna pop these in the oven, and then when we're finished with them, we're going to put them on our altura that we made a little bit earlier. Emily helped me, she put the flowers on, it looks beautiful. Yay. All right, I'm gonna put them in the oven as directed. And if you use pre-made dough, you will follow the directions on what heat setting you'll have. Take them out of the oven. They're ready. Oh, they look great. They really turned out pretty good. Now I'm going to plate them so we can take them to the ofrenda. Yeah, you. Okay. I'll put them on the ofrenda. Here we go. Just put the plate down. There you go. Good job, Emily. Yeah, no, just leave them there on the plate. That'll be fine. There we go. We did it. Thank you for visiting me. I, I. That's exactly what I said. Thank you for visiting Miss Annette's little farm in the big city. Bye. We'll see you next time. Bye.